do struggle with auto rotating a helicopter and playing Armor 3? Well, if so, don't worry because I'm here to help. In this video, I'll be sharing my techniques for auto rotations. Now, these techniques will work for any helicopter you may be flying, from a hummingbird to ghost hawk. Make sure to stick around to the end because I'll be sharing a pro tip that may make the difference between living and dying. Alright, let's go. In order to practice auto rotations, we're going to have to use a free DLC called Hell Heli. The program will allow us to activate various malfunctions in our aircraft, from motor failures to a loss of tail rotor. In order to download Hell Heli, go into your library, click Arma 3, slide over, click Workshop, and then search Hell Heli. And once on that screen, just download it. Now that you've got the Hell Heli scenario downloaded, just go on single player and hit scenarios. Highlight Hell Heli, hit play. When the scenario launches, it'll put you in a heli at altitude and you can get right into practicing auto rotations. Use your scroll wheel to activate malfunctions or switch helicopters. In this demonstration, I will perform an auto rotation from a hover. In order to auto rotate from a hover, all you have to do is hold down the collective. If you're playing on a mouse and keyboard, it's the S key. As you descend, watch your altitude and approximately 20 meters high, bring your collective to the hover position. Once again, if you're on a mouse and keyboard, just release the S key. Just before touching down, raise the collective to achieve a soft landing. It'll look something like this. All right, let's try it again. To reset, scroll and hit escape bush. In this next demonstration, I'll be doing a high speed auto rotation from a high altitude. The technique is the same as before with the addition of getting the nose of the helicopter to just above the horizon or higher. The higher the nose gets, the faster your forward speed will slow. In an ideal situation, you want to touch down with little to no forward speed. It should look like this. Okay, let's reset. In this final demonstration, I will explain how to perform the most difficult auto rotation, which is the high speed, low altitude auto rotation. This is probably the most common type of auto rotation you will experience when playing King of the Hill, so pay attention. The technique is the same as the previous auto rotation, but you must act quickly when your engine goes out because you don't have much time. As soon as your engine goes out, Hold the collective down and pitch the nose of the helicopter up. It's important to pitch the nose up higher than the horizon to scrub speed quickly. It should look like this. All right guys, here's my first pro tip. If you have the opportunity to auto rotate onto a grassy patch instead of a road, do so. Grass is softer and you can land harder making the auto rotation more survivable.
All right, guys, here's my final pro tip. If you're flying to the LZ and you get your engine shut out and you need to auto-rotate, continue to fly your heli. Too many times I see guys just hold the heli flying straight ahead and crash into the ground. Don't be that guy. Well, that's it guys. I hope this information helps you out next time you get your engine shot out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed my content, please subscribe.